the footage you're about to see you guys, it's a little bit intense. After that last video I posted, this is the next day. I went back to the alley behind my house and I just went to tell her that I didn't find anybody to take the little dog yet, but I wanted to make sure she was okay to hang on to him so I could keep searching. Oh, baby, oh my God, his fucking tail. I can take him, I can take him right now. I can take him right now. I had no idea it was this bad. She had a Band-Aid on his tail the night before, so I didn't actually see it. And then going out there, there was absolutely no way I could leave him. I didn't have anything lined up for him yet, but I could not leave him like that out there in this heat with that kind of atrocity. It was, oh my God, you guys, his tail is completely mutilated. You can see the bone sticking out of his tail. I mean, what this dog has endured is absolutely horrific. And he's got a couple toenails that are also busted at the base. I caught this one on film right here. You can see just totally broken and busted. There's more. Right after I posted this, my good friends at Desert Tales offered to keep him for me for a couple of days. While I got things sorted out and got vet appointments worked out, there was another rescue in Las Vegas that offered to take him and I was all for it. However, while he was at Desert Tales, this is what he did in his kennel all day, every day. He just had an absolute complete vendetta for his tail and his busted fingers. I was absolutely praying that once we got this little guy's tail amputated, we got him fixed up and feeling good, that maybe this behavior would subside of him chasing you know, the parts of his body that were the most injured, his tail and his feet, that he wouldn't be so aggressive. Because with 14 dogs under my roof that I walk and train every day and half of which will be adoptable, I just didn't have the time for one more. Because if this behavior didn't subside after surgery, there's no way I would send him to Las Vegas rescue or any rescue for that matter. That is a tremendous amount of work to put on someone else. I don't want him to just be medicated. His injuries were inflicted by a small child. The lady, Jojo, that gave him to me, she had pretty specific details of what was going on. Okay, here we are post-surgery. He had his tail amputated. He also got neutered. He got his nails cleaned up and just had an overall good checkup. What do you think the chances are that this behavior went away once surgery was done? <laughs> And thanks for choosing me. I don't think I could confidently call myself Broke Down Palace unless the cases that came to me weren't absolute shit shows. So, guess we can't really be shocked, huh? <laughs> he was struggling so hard in his crate. So this is what I did to bork his brain. I just did hand feeding for eye contact, all of which is in the Leash Foundation course, and then just taught him to get on a place bed, nothing else. Just had him get on it and get off of it. That alone, 20 minutes, and I'm not even kidding you, I took a picture of it because look, it completely knocked him out. I'm gonna film and post the training that I do with him, specifically with his tail, so you guys can see how I work him through this stuff. And if you're interested in adopting him, he'll be adoptable soon, or if you just wanna follow along with his progress and what goes on with him. And this video, I didn't know he was this young. I, post, I just put this video in here, he had a tick in between um, his toes on his paw and I just thought this was the sweetest thing he's such a puppy oh my lord he's just such a little baby and the poor guy he's never had a chance to even be a dog so I'm gonna post all of his stuff if you guys want to follow along if you're interested in adopting and you're in Arizona and you'd like to meet him please drop a message in the comment section if you want to donate to him he's one more mouth to feed at 15 dogs it, it really 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 adds up my Venmo is Handover Rover. My website is handoverrover.com. If you need help with training, leashfoundation.com is 20 bucks. It's seven videos. It's yours forever. I'm going to link all that stuff in the description below, you guys. And I just can't thank you enough for the support. The encouragement means everything to me. I've got no sign off for this one. I'll see you guys in the next video.